frying pan. And into the fire, run. Run! Hello and welcome to Out of the Frying Pan Podcast's YouTube channel. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I posted a video last. Um, small apologies for that. I've always said that, uh, that this channel is a, very much a companion to the audio podcast that, that we put out. But I'm back again. Um, I do enjoy doing the videos and there will be more. But we're back today with... Um, the final instalment of the Helm's Deep build vlogs. Um, it's all finished now, or at least it's finished as far as I'm going to take it for, for, for now or for quite a while. Um, it's all painted. Um, I've taken a short video of it out of my garden the other day because it doesn't quite fit in my office. Well, the, the, the gaming table I need to put in it on doesn't fit in the office. Um, there's some stills for me to ramble over as well. Should be a fairly quick video, to be honest with you. Shouldn't take too, too long. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the the the, the, the Helm's Deep model and um, comment below if you if you enjoyed it. So here we are then. Ignore the dog in the background there chewing at something it shouldn't. Um, so this is the final complete Helm's Deep. Um, I actually decided to do the base laser paint with rattle cans in the end because I knew I'd go through so much um, airbrush paint if I did um, I ordered some oh, some inks as well so some liquid ed, liquitex um, burnt umber and some and some black um, but other than that have you used normal paints so there's a couple of grey type rattle cans and I got those sort of got those sort of sprayed on first um, I haven't got images of that I'm afraid um, and then I kind of started airbrushing in the inks so giving it the the tone down the bottom um, some of the streaks um, so sort of some of the browner streaks and things into the rocks as well I've used some scale colors so scale 75 intensity inks um, use green a lot as you can see a lot of the green there again just I'm just adding tone to areas to make it look really really grim I really wanted it to look grim and, and, and old and, and unused I think in the film when you and I suppose in the books as well but when you when you first see it in the film the, the place is pretty much abandoned it's not really used it's, it is a refuge to go to when when the when the Rohan are at at times of need so it's, it's not like if people were staying there I got that's the impression I got anyway so I wanted to look dirty and, and sort of unkempt um, you can see the door opens there. there's a couple of shots with the door open um, but that was it really for the sort of the, the, the main painting. Um, I'm not going to go into loads and loads of detail because without me actually doing it, it wouldn't mean a lot to you. Um, so there's the, the broken wall. Um, so we're just going to move in for a, a terribly bad camera um, handled shot there. So that's the broken section. So the wall is in three sections. If you've seen the earlier videos, you'll, you'll be aware of that. But just in case you haven't and you found this one first, walls in three sections, they're removable. Um, and the middle section um, it was replaced by a broken section so for that part of the game so the deeping wall can be used the, the the main part of the keep sort of stops just below where the f the uh, the very first set of steps which is attached to the side of the keep go down um, but other than that there are three equal sized sections of wall um, I've added a few other effects. So there's a company called Model Mates that makes some moss effects and some rust effects, and I've done some streaks just to add some extra tone. There are weathering powders all over it, especially on the rocks, to really dry it out and make it look kind of dusty and dry. Lots of different colours, so some some whites and some yellows and some browns and things. Um, this sort of overall give the, the the overall effect that you can see there. Um, so here we are with some stills then so that the light looks a bit different with stills looks a bit more dark and moody um, I think the true colors probably somewhere in between the two um, but as you can just sort of see here without me moving around quite as much so where I've, I've added the streaks the darker areas to just a mixture of using the airbrush but then also using um, rust streaking and, and inks and things just to streak down the building um, I didn't do the horn tower in the end but as you seen if you're comparing this with the the previous videos you will see that i've added a little bit of extra to the backdrop so that 3d relief backdrop um of the sort of the main castle keep you see there there's lots of dust and things there's lots of weathering powders in there as well again just adding to the real grim and, and dirty effect 
Um, a lot of my background in painting is through Horus Heresy stuff, so I use a lot of military modelling techniques, and I've used that a lot with this terrain. I wanted it to look really dark and grimy. Um, but I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. I'm pretty happy with the paint job. There's, there's, there's lots of things I'm, I'm not happy with when it comes to the actual build itself. Um, I wish I did the, the horn tower properly, um, rather than sort of just that little bit representing it. Um, some of the foam work is pretty, I don't know, high school project. Um, uh, I think some of the cheaper foam, thin foam that I've used, I've talked about this a bit on the previous videos, but it didn't come out as well as some of the thicker foam at the bottoms. Um, the bits I've used from the toy, I think I've painted up great and look really, really good, but that's obviously um, professionally made. Um, but ultimately it's um, uh, ready to play with, which was which was the main goal. It's going to be obviously a little while before I get to do that with the current restrictions around the world and things, but I'm looking forward to having a big game on it, which uh, should be soon. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed looking at what I've done with Helm's Deep. Um, please comment below. Um, love to hear what you think about it. Um, yeah, like I've said during the video, there's bits I'm not happy with, um, but I will take happy to take any comments about it. Um, but primarily it's there for gaming and I'm looking forward to when all these lockdowns end and life is a bit more normal, we can get back and, and arrange a big game. I need to paint the armies to go with that as well first. So um, I may do some painting videos soon. Um, some equipment has come that will hopefully hold my camera at the right angle to enable me to do that. Um, I'm going to be painting the Fellowship soon. I've prepped the Metal Fellowship. Those of you who listen to the audio podcast will all be aware of that. Um, I'm going to make them sort of two to three hour paint jobs for each miniature. So not full display level, just really nice sort of tabletop standard. Um, they're going to be used for gaming. They're going to be used for the, the upcoming uh, Quest for the ring bearer scenarios and things when they come out um, so I'm going to do that for fun I may well do a painting video for one or two I very much doubt I'm going to record painting each one I just want to get them painted and I think it would add too much time and time is the thing I'm, I'm most short of at the moment sadly not ideas or, or when it's just to paint um, I'm going to be doing some army painting as well I'm going to be working on Rohan and some Isengard stuff mostly for the the big Helm's Deep game I want to play later in the year um, there may be a video pops up for that uh, it may well not be painting videos but it might be when I've completed units and things might do small showcases um, and when we'll take it from there really um, I have promised and I haven't forgotten to do some build videos of Smaug when I get time to do it as well so I will probably put that in dispersed between the the other videos that are coming up but there will be more videos and that's the thing so thanks for watching again take care and I'll catch you soon into the fire, run. Run!